So continuing with uh, overhead stability, what that means is that when your hands go overhead, are you stable with whatever weight you have over your head? And for a lot of people, they maybe have the shoulder stability, but maybe they don't have the uh, torso or rib stability. And so what that looks like from the side is as I go overhead, I start to flare my ribs out. They start to go this way. And it just means that the front is getting too long and that the back is getting too short. And if you repeatedly do that, then over time this area through the back might get a bit grumpy. Or through the front, it doesn't get as happy because it's getting stretched all the time. So a good way to work on that is by adding a weight and trying to control the stability here. And we can do that laying down. It can be any shape, it can be any weight. And if you're not sure what weight, you're looking for the weight that enables you to do the exercise, but maintain control. So this isn't about choosing a really heavy weight and getting like a burn and getting like a bunch of fatigue. It's about trying to execute the movement. And so what that looks like is ribs are down. So if I had my hand under here, I'm pushing my hand into the ground, but that's not the whole back. If I go down into my lower back, there's still a space here. So I can get my hand underneath my lower back, but I can't get it underneath the middle of my back. So my ribs are down. If you're not able to do that, you can try and exhale. That will also give you the same movement. So if I, then my ribs go down and I try and keep them there. Chin is tucked, back of the neck is long. So don't let the head cock up like this. You're basically trying to keep yourself in the knee plank position that we have in another video. And as you hold the weight, you're gonna drop the arms over your head and don't let this change. Don't let it flare up this way. Don't let the head go back like this. And you may not be able to get the full range. You may only be able to go half the distance. And that's okay. Choose a weight that enables you to go as far as you can go. And over time that'll improve. I like to have it so that my thumbs are facing this way. That way we stay away from any shoulder impingement. If they're this way, or even through pointing each other, then your chance of shoulder impingement gets a little higher. So I'm holding the weight, ribs are down, chin tucked, neck is long. A little breath in to start with, and then I'm just dropping the weight, going down. And notice I'm trying to keep my elbows straight. If you find that you can't, then reduce the weight. And you're doing as many reps as you can until the technique starts to fail. And that failing of technique might be that the elbows start to bend. It might be that the chin starts to go up as so you lose that neck long position. Or maybe the ribs start to go up like this. And so give yourself a second and recorrect, pull your ribs down and then go again. And if you find that you still can't keep the ribs in position, then you've done enough reps for that set. So just to summarize, it's an exercise for building overhead stability. Stability through the front muscles. We'd use a different exercise for building stability through the back muscles. And use a weight that enables you to do the exercise with the correct technique. Don't rush the weight on this. It's not about lifting heavy weights. It's about executing the exercise properly. Okay. All done.